最終的にやるのかい Reading this report this morning, I read that Pete directed officers intending to gain entry into the classroom to stop, that no leader effectively questioned the decision and lack of urgency of UCISD PD Chief Arredondo and UPD Acting Chief Mariano Pargas toward entering classrooms 111 and 112, and that leadership can arise regardless of rank and title. I hope that the failures end today and that local officials Do what wasn't done that day. Do right by the victims and survivors of Rob Elementary, terminations, criminal prosecutions. And our state and federal government enact sensible gun laws because Rob Elementary began the day an 18 year old was allowed to purchase an AR 15. Most importantly, from what we've seen with this report, and you know, I, I commend the DOJ on doing this, um, is that although there isn't every name of the officers that were there so that we can hold them accountable, because we have to do our own digging most of the time, there are names that are named. And it is time, because our community is so divided because of this, because they don't want to believe that the people that they grew up with failed our children and they stand against us, I'm hoping that they read this and they see Johnny Phil's name or, or Mariano Pargas's, who is a county commissioner right now, or um, Constable Zamora, who is running for re-election. There are names in there and the community needs to see this and y'all need, because the DOJ stamp is on there, maybe y'all will start taking us seriously now instead of telling us to move on, telling us to sweep it under the rug and not doing a damn thing about it. We need our community. This is, it, it's hard enough waking up every day and continuing to, to walk out on these streets and walk to an HEB or drive to an HEB and see a cop that you know was standing there while our babies were murdered and bleeding out. It's hard enough that. But this community doesn't care and I hope that this, I hope this makes y'all. I also hope that this lights a fire up under the, D, the, the district attorney's ass because we know that she has not done a damn thing and we refuse to accept that. Do your job. <laughs> Let's try to go one at a time and just introduce yourself so they know who they're talking to. Where do we want to start? Um, Shimon, go ahead. Yeah. So just, do just you, let them know who you are, Shimon. Uh, Shimon Program at CNN. Just do you guys feel that the report went far enough in naming people and holding people accountability? Because as we know, the DPS had the largest number of law enforcement officials outside of the CBP. And there's a lot of video and a lot of information about their actions that day. But it doesn't seem that this report really touches on their actions. And it seems to focus mostly on the local officers and the issues. Are you concerned about that? Just maybe some reaction to that. I don't understand why they are allowed privacy. My child, their children, they are named in this report because they are dead. Everybody should have been named. Um, is there, do you feel, Kim, if I can follow up, that somehow maybe DPS is off the hook on this, but when you look at this report, do any of you want to just... Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to answer the question because we've only been given an hour and a half to kind of just look through the report. Um, so we don't even know if they are mentioned in there or not. Um, we would hope that they are um, because they were there. So we hope that they would be accountable for their actions as well. Johnny, following up on that, Monica Madden, KXN and Next Star. Um, I know that you said you're still sifting through the report and everything, but were you hoping that the Attorney General would have addressed a lot of more of the aftermath, the delays in the DA's investigation, DPS's investigation into its office's actions and accountability? Were you hoping that he would address more of that publicly? 
I mean, of course we would have. Um, we're grateful that we got what we have right now um, because it's probably the most updated information that any of us have gotten since May 24th. So um, we're very appreciative of what he's done right now. Um, but yeah, we would have liked to have more information about it. Okay, uh, the other with TV Radio, did anything, uh, did you learn anything new from what you've seen in this report? Is there anything that you didn't know before? Um, we, we knew as families, you know, just kind of talking amongst each other, we knew the failures that had happened. Um, we just kind of, it makes more clarity now because it's written and now it's set in stone and what we thought is true. So. I did learn something. You did? Um, I didn't realize that the scene was compromised. What? The scene was compromised, that there was people that shouldn't have been there that were entering the classroom. That's mentioned in the report. And did, was that, how did that make you feel to learn that? I want to continue reading more when we're done here. A couple more, and then I'll go read. Uh, two, two quick ones. Um, news 4, uh, WAI, KBB, in San Antonio. Um, in all of your guys' mind, is there any question left that the DA should have all that she needs, all that she is required to have for her investigation to be able to pursue criminal charges now at this point? Yeah, what else does she Yeah, I mean, this is probably the most extensive piece that we have about all of the failures that happened that day. What else does she possibly need to prosecute or to remove these people from their positions of power when they can't even do their jobs? Yami Virgen, KBBWAI. How safe are the children of Uvalde right now? I think, I think the point of this is that none of us are safe. That's what you know, Josh just mentioned. None of us are safe because these weapons are on the streets.